In this video, we're going to install the Veeam agent for Mac. Let's jump straight into our demo environment. Now, here we are on my MacBook Air. This is the system that we're going to be protecting with the Veeam agent for Mac today. Now, our instinct might be to use the Veeam agent uh, zip file to get the agent installed. You can do it, but then you have to use the Veeam config commands to make it work. Not a great video. So we're going to use Veeam Backup and Replication to get the agent installed. So I'm going to go into my inventory and create a catch-all protection group. Now protection groups are used to group our agent systems together so that we have the same deployment. I'll zoom in so it's easier to see. Now I'm going to name this protection group catch-all, which means that systems where the agent is installed outside of Veeam, so it's not deployed from Veeam, will automatically be protected using this protection group. So that's the catch-all. I'm going to choose the Apple Mac packages, and I'm going to build this package and store it in a location that I had earlier created. Okay, so this is going to generate a package. There are some advanced options available. These are specific to the agent for Windows, but I thought I'd bring them up anyway. There's some notification settings. I'll also zoom in on this. So we're going to build our configuration package. Now this is going to uh, create a bundle of files. And this bundle of files is going to be used to uh, install and configure our, the agent on our Mac systems. So first thing we need to do is to put those files into a location that's accessible from the Mac. So I'm just going to copy this uh, folder that was created into OneDrive. There we go. And I'll go back over to my Mac system. We can see that that folder is there. I'm going to dive into it, and there's a README, probably a good idea to open it up. Now there is a note at the top of the README that certain versions of the Mac OS require a different package, so let's just double check the version of this Mac. It's running Big Sur, so it's a, a very new distribution. So this means that we're going to use the 713 package. So I'll just double click on that. And this is going to open up that package and start our installation process. And of course we have to allow it to run. And we'll continue. We will agree to our license agreement will agree to the third-party license agreement. Uh, we could change the installation location if we felt like it, but we're just going to click on install, enter the password, and let the package uh, and scripts run. So this is going to take a few moments to get the package installed. And there we go. The software has been installed suc successfully. And I'm going to close this off. I'm going to go um, into system preferences for a moment. There is something that we need to do in the system preferences to give the Veeam agent for Mac the access that it needs. So we're going to come back here in just a second. We'll launch the agent for Mac. And this is going to launch the file restore uh, window. That is what this tool does, um, but it is giving me a warning about that full disk access and it's giving me a prompt to open up system preferences and make the necessary changes. So we'll go into security and privacy, uh, the privacy tab, and then find full disk access. Now we'll click on the lock to unlock it. And what we need to do is to add the Veeam agent for Mac in here. The easy way to do this, just search for Veeam. There's the Veeam agent for Mac. We don't need to have the uninstaller in here, not necessary. We'll click on open. We will have to quit and reopen uh, the agent. So we'll let that happen. There we go, it's reopening now. 
and we can see those permissions have been added. The file level restore window opened up again. Great. Very quick and easy. I'll lock this back up. And right up at the top here, we've got a Veeam icon. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to choose to import my configuration. Now this is also part of that package. And I'm going to use the catchall.xml file. There's also an escaped version of the file if your package management system requires it. There's an error here about it's already being managed. That's because I've uninstalled and reinstalled the agent a few times. That can be safely ignored. Okay, so the configuration has been imported. So now I'm going to go back to my Veeam backup server, take a look in that catch-all protection group, and find my Mac agent. So I can view the details, I can see the OS version and everything. So that is the installation of the Veeam agent for Mac.